Hey, this is Shannon Ross. We're here today at La Salle College of the Arts. And we're here at 15 Minutes Cafe to meet up with a mind illusionist. His name is Justin Luck. <laughs> Let's go and find out what he has for us. Abracadabra! We're here at 15 Minutes Cafe with Justin, mind illusionist. So, Justin Luck. You're a mind illusionist. What is that? Most of my tricks in my magic uh, repertoire uh, consist of uh, mind reading, okay. uh, mind control, psychology. Uh, they are used to influence people's mind. So what was your first magic trick that you learned? Oh, I remember my cousin showing this to a, a kid. What this? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That is my second. That freaked me out when I was a kid. Yeah, like, whoa, my scary. finger broke. <laughs> yeah, in fact, now I can like do this. like. Ah, okay, 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 okay. That's so lame. Yeah, I can't believe a so scream. That's okay. My... <laughs> what are you like? Four years old or something? <laughs> do you ever reveal your tricks? We, we normally magicians do not uh, reveal the magic tricks. Okay, uh, but then if you are really interested in magic, I, I can impart the skill to you. But you have to sign a contract in blood. <laughs> so as a professional magician, do you make a lot of money? We make like fast money, like, we, I don't have to work every day, like Monday to Sunday, office hour, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, flexible. Yeah, flexible. Can you see an average magician, la, okay? Uh -huh. Not you, not talking about you here. How much can you potentially earn an average magician who's maybe had like five years experience? How much can you earn a month? Okay, you can earn like from 5k to 10 over k. <gasps> I like that! Yeah. So your mind reading abilities, is it useful when it comes to the ladies? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, I'll just uh, go up to a group of girls or one of them and say, think of a number between 1 and 10. Why don't you try it on this beautiful lady right here? Okay, Ross, think of a number between 1 and 10. Don't okay. say it. Concentrate. <laughs> what do you think, I'm an idiot or what? <laughs> don't answer. You just concentrate. Okay. Ooh. Seven. How do you know? I can read your mind. Was that really a number you thought of? Yeah. Seven. How did you tell her? Just by looking into her eyes? By popular, by popular belief, is no, it? No, because I can see the numbers in your eyes. Is it their number of wrinkles? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because that'd be way more than seven. <laughs> you choose lucky number seven, the most <laughs> obvious of all those numbers. Why? It's a cool number. But for like... Chinese, uh, lucky number is eight. Yeah. Uh, that's true. So from there, you can start the conversation, okay. get their numbers. Let's say if I get it wrongly, I, I still can do something about it. I say, why don't you give me your phone number? I'll call you tonight and tell you the correct answer. Oh uh, yeah, so cheesy. <laughs> Only works if you're a magician. Uh. <laughs> Nobody can use it. I had a, a thing like that before. Let me try, I'm, I'm sure you'll know. All right, okay. You're oh, trying yeah. to trick the mind illusionist. <laughs> <laughs> Shan we? Okay, Ross, I want you to think of... Audacious. I want you to think of a number between 0 and 60. It has to be a two-digit number. It has to be an odd number. Okay. Both digits... Give me need, some time to think. Both digits need to be odd. Okay. Well, wow, the and odds the, are damn low now. And the digits cannot be the same. Okay? That only leaves us with a few numbers, Shan. No, there's quite a lot of numbers, but have you got one in your head? Yes. Okay, look at me in the eyes. Into the eyes, not around the eyes, into the eyes. Is it 37? It's not. Really? Yeah, it's 17. <sighs> See, I tried that with girls before and it never works. Why? <laughs> Justin, I see before me cards and a magic box. What tricks can you do for us? Okay. Uh, Ross, can you just take one card? Okay, just pick one. Okay, don't show me, look at it. Show it to him, show it to the camera. Just place it on top. Okay, I'm gonna put it like somewhere in the middle. Okay, can you just press on it? Okay. That is your magic touch. One card, at least in your mind, is gonna change into a blue card. Right. One card and one card only. Can you please tell me what is your card? It's nine of spades. Nine of spades? Yes. Nine of spades. This is so weird! <laughs> I just put this nine of spades here. You give me your hand and just cover it. Ah, to sure touch him. Make sure I can't take it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now, relax. Now, Shan, it's your turn. I'm going to do this, okay? As I do this, every card will change, yeah. right? Okay, whenever you want, you just say stop. Let's go. Stop. Here. Yeah? Okay, look, this will be your card. Now, you're going to press on this 
and you're gonna see one card turns blue. At least in your mind, it's gonna be blue. You gotta press harder, you know. <laughs> okay, one card is gonna turn into a blue card. You're gonna see a blue card and one card old. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What is your card? What is your card? Seven of hearts. Seven of hearts. What about yours? Nine of spades. Nine of spades, which is over there all along. Yeah. How about you turn it over slowly? Ah! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna read your mind. I just draw my crystal ball. Isn't that neat? It's cheaper as well, yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna look away and you're gonna write a number between zero to one thousand. Go on okay. then. Once you're done, you just close it. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Zero to one thousand is turned away. I'm gonna make it really difficult. <laughs> oh yeah! Okay. Done? Okay, done. Okay. Just put this aside. I'm gonna just lock them up. You just hold it for me. Okay. I guess it's a three-digit number. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Okay, look at me, look at me. The first digit is a high number. Okay? I guess it could be something like nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Okay? A one, uh -huh. nine, one. So I think that would be nine, one, nine. Ah! What was that? That was a scream of incredulity. He was turned away. That was a very scary scream. I'm still thinking about your scream. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know. He was looking at this. Does it come through or something? I don't know. No. I'm impressed. Now you want to learn this? I want to know how. You can, you can put girls' numbers there. Hey, can you write down your phone number? And yeah. I'll try to guess it. Take a card. Okay. Look at it, show it to everybody. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. And you say stop anytime you want. Okay, go. Stop. Okay, just put it back. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now, I'm gonna mani manipulate the cards to the top. Okay, can you please tell me what is your card? Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Just come to the top. Open your hand. I'm gonna just put this here, cover it. Don't let me take it out. The knife clubs, okay? Just hold it very tight, real tight. Okay, watch. The next one I have over here is the Jack of Hearts, okay? And don't blink. One, two, and three. Okay. I know this didn't move. It could maybe be another card. What's in your hands? That is so insane! <laughs> this is impossible! My big hands! Inside your big hands! Nothing gets out! Well, it's been quite amazing. Thank you very much, Justin. It's really been magical. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, here's Hi. my... Hey! Here's my card. Isn't he the hottest magician? Hey. Well, literally, hey. I see you guys have like same sense of humour. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks a lot, Justin. This has been Shannon Ross, and if you want to see more episodes, stay tuned to clicknetwork.tv. Or you can catch us on radio at 987FM, Monday to Fridays, 4 to 8pm.